thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence that is here with us. There is fullness of joy, Lord. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And we thank you, Father, that you said we're two or more gathered in your name. You are here in our midst. And that is what matters to us, Lord, that you are here and that you are working, Father, confirming your word with signs following. As you said, Lord, in Mark 16, 20, as your people, as the disciples went forth preaching everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Hallelujah. God confirms his word. He gave this commission to the disciples. If you read Mark 16, the last few verses of what Jesus said to them. And this last verse, he says, they preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming his word. God, he always keeps that word. It's not our word that we speak, but it's his word that he confirms. And when we take his promises and we believe it and we speak it, God says, yes, that's what I'm going to confirm. That's my promise and I'm going to keep my word. We serve a God who cannot lie, he cannot change. He's still the same today and forever. And we serve a miracle working God. Amen. Glory to God. Let's say it. We serve a miracle working God. We serve a miracle working God. And he's still doing miracles today. He's still doing miracles today. He's confirming his word. He's confirming his word. With signs following. With signs following. And I believe it. And I believe it. And I receive it. I receive it. And I shall have it. Amen. Let's sing about the miracle working God. And every one of you join us as we praise our miracle working God. He is here with us and he's also there to minister to you and encourage you and strengthen you. That's what you get from the Lord. Only good reports. He's not going to give you a bad report. He's always going to lift you up. Even when you fall, he said he will lift you up and bring you out of any kind of situation. There's nothing too hard for him. So let's praise him and sing about our miracle working God. Hallelujah. Put our hands together and worship Him.
strength let's say that together the joy of the Lord is my strength a merry heart does good like a medicine but a broken spirit dries the bones so we are going to choose joy because it is our medicine that brings strength to us brings refreshment hallelujah and God promised us in his word in Psalm 46 verse 1 that he is our refuge and he's our strength his very present help in time of trouble. Amen. And in Hebrews 4.16, he also says, to come near, boldly come to his throne of grace, that you can obtain mercy and find grace to help you in your time of need. Aren't you thankful that God doesn't forsake us? Yes. Whenever we need the help, whenever we cry unto him, we can come to him. You know, there's a story in the Old Testament about a man named Jehoshaphat. He followed the Lord. He sought God with all of his heart. But then he came into agreement with the wrong king in his life. At one point, he, he made friendship with the wrong king. And instead of, he sought the Lord for wisdom whether he should go to battle with that king. And God brought the word of the Lord to him through the prophet. But instead of listening to that word, Jehoshaphat decided, you know, he was just going to, Go with that king instead of obeying the Lord. Even when the word of the Lord came and told him that this battle is not going to, it's going to fail. But yet he decided to still go with that king. And while he was in the battle, the king of, his name was Ahab, he was the one who the enemies were looking out for. They were the one, he, the enemies were looking to kill King Ahab. But Ahab was afraid to go to that battle, so he put King Jehoshaphat right there. And Jehoshaphat knew he was not supposed to be there. You know, he knew that he was in trouble. He still cried out to the Lord. And the Bible says the Lord moved them. He moved so that those enemies, they couldn't touch him. See, when he was in that troubled moment, he made a mistake. He did the wrong thing. But he cried to the Lord. And the Lord moved those enemies. The Lord will save you in your time of distress when you call unto him. He will make a way of escape for you. That's what he promised us. He said, in the time of temptation, God, he's faithful. He'll make a way of escape for you. So don't forsake the Lord in your trouble. He's right there with you. And that's what we're going to sing and say, God, you are my refuge. Even in trouble, I can call unto you. Even if you've made a mistake, you can still come to him. And he's not going to forsake you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in time of need. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help. Time of need, God is my refuge and my strength. A very present help in time of need, God is my refuge and my strength. A very present help. Time of need, let's sing that again. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in time of need. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help. 
come with me He's my shelter, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower He'll never ever leave me alone He's my In time of need, time of need, God is my refuge and my strength. A very present hand. In time, of God is my refuge. God is my refuge and my strength. A very present hand. In time of need, in time of need, God, you're my refuge, oh yes, and my strength, a very present hand, in time of need, he's my shelter. Time of need, time of need. God is my refuge and my strength. Yes, He is a very present help in time of need. Hallelujah. We look to you, Lord. We cast our cares aside. We come unto you. In time of need, 
You're a very present help in time of need. A very present help in time of need. Yes, you are. You are my strength. You are. Forsaken, never gonna leave. delivers you said you sent your word and you heal them and deliver them from their destructions Lord we know that you are the great deliverer only you God can bring us out of bondage and you can bring us father into the truth and I pray for those who are bound with chains right now in the name of Jesus we take authority and we rebuke those bondages we rebuke those things that have held them captive and we say that the Spirit of the Lord is upon us for he has anointed us with the Holy Ghost and with power and Lord we go about doing good healing all that are oppressed of the devil yes. Lord because you are with us and right now we come against and we rebuke those spirits of oppression spirits of infirmity of weakness that have bound people and we say in the name of Jesus, you have no place. You have no place here right now. God, for you have given us authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt us. So Lord, we thank you for confirming your word this day, Lord, with signs following. Because Lord, you said heaven and earth will pass away, but your words will never pass away. And Lord, we run to the words of life that is able to rescue us, that is able to bring us great deliverances, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing people out of bondage. Lord, you came for this reason, to set the captives free. And I thank you, Lord, right now. Let there be freedom, God, in your people to serve you, to serve you without holding anything that is keeping them bound. That is not your will, God. You came to bring us into freedom because knowing your truth, sets us free and I thank you Lord for freedom right now in Jesus name hallelujah let's say as I know the truth that truth sets me free it's not gonna keep me bound it sets me free amen look at somebody and say Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever 